Right, welcome back. Evening! It session, is... well, it's going to be what? Second one? Second Wednesday night Flounder League session in Paul. Yeah. Yeah, it's number two. We've learned a bit, and we... Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean we're going to catch anymore, because... After the, what, three fish last last time? Three fish by two people. So, so, who knows? But we got the correct rigs this time. I've been to see Taff. I popped over to see Taff yeah. uh, Tuesday night. I was up there for an hour or so, chatting, as, as always. A couple of cups of coffee, and um, we got the rigs. We've got flip, three at Flappers, um, all on pop-ups, and we've got the pulley wishbone, no, the wishbone dropper with pop-ups on. Which um, is the one we ran... A few videos ago, if you watched that. Yeah. yeah, which we, we did catch on. So, yep. um, positions tonight, they flip, flip them around. So, because they use two um, areas with Rockley and Ham Park, I was at Rockley last time, so I'm at Ham Park tonight. I've got the MPEG at Ham Park, and Ryan got the MPEG. <laughs> got the MPEG at Rockley, which is about a 15 minute trek. If you look. Somewhere over there. He's got a bit of a mission. <laughs> Massive tides again tonight, so yep. um, he's going to be sort of in the water later on when the tide comes right in like I was. Um, loads of clay is and a bit more sandy mine. So I should enjoy my fishing a bit better tonight. But people pulled him out of yes. Rockley last week, so I'm hoping we can get one out at Rockley End and hopefully there's some producing at Ham Park because there weren't last time. No. So we shall see. We'll so see. We've got the rigs. We've got another pound of rag each which we got from Wessex this time round yep um, we've also both gone and got a squid or two cut them up into strips so we can yep. tip off with that just to try um, sort of you know inch inch and a half strips just flapping about so hopefully that will help attract some fish as well these rigs they've got um, blades on there a bit of bling all the pop ups so all the jazzle in there yeah. so hopefully we're just trying different things see what happens like you say we're adding a bit of squid just a bit more scent in the water a bit more of an attraction maybe we're, we're just trying to you know try and mix it up a bit and see what happens we've never caught a flounder so we're still learning we're still learning so we you know, got to try I'll be happy even if it's an unsizable one tonight or just not to blank. So, Like me last time. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to say it because I know what's going to happen if I do say it. So we we shall see what's going to happen. But We're yeah, back. It's a Wednesday night. It's a Flounder League. We've taken a bit of uh, advice on as well. So I brought a bit more lighting with me, although yep. it's, it's just one of them. So yeah, it was the first time out with the GoPro in the evening or at night for me last week. And the thing is, because I've got the head torch on, which is like a uh, a long like strip, I think the uh, um, GoPro was covering it. The mount was covering it. So I'm going to try different things today. And I've got some other lights. So hopefully I can light up the mm. um, the rods a bit better so you can see the bite if I do get a bite. Mm. Um, and anything else that we're doing. So hopefully that's that's going to help with, with the video and stuff. So we'll just see how it goes. So but anyway, you'll see us over there and you over there. Down that way. In a bit. Cheers, guys. See you later. See you later. Seven's just gone, first one is out. So, I've got these three of flappers up the taff. Um, got a pound of rag again, so ragworm, and I've got a bit of squid to tip with as well. Um, just trying to work out what's happening down this end because again, I weren't down here the other day, so I just want to keep an eye. So, I'm near, near to some structure. If I spin you round, you might be able to. Wow, you can't go out I'll move my light a little bit. Okay, you might be able to see I've got some structure here. Look. So um, yeah, it's um, trying to see if uh, trying to see if my um, rolling leads don't roll into it. If not, I'll have to go onto the grip leads tonight. Um, but yeah, we're out. Three hours of fishing, and let's see if I can pull a flounder out. But um, yeah, hopefully, I hope we get something tonight with these rigs. But only time will tell. Um, got a couple others to try. 
got a Wessex rig, standard Wessex rig that I made last time with the pop-ups on, so I'll give that a bash, but I reckon I'm getting smashed by uh, schoolie bass, because... Something's having a, having a gander at it, but yeah, keep an eye on it, sort of 15, 10, 15 minutes there we get on, um, swap them around and we'll just keep doing that tonight, but um, yeah, keep with us, Ryan's filming again, he said, he said he's got a bit of better light tonight, um, so yeah, that's all we can do is just give it a bash and we'll, we'll go from there, but yeah, I'll hand you over to Ryan, see how he's getting on, he's probably just chucked his first one out, so yeah, catch you in a bit, bye. was a bite on that there is don't think it's what I want though no. fingers crossed Nathan's just hit a snag she's been on the phone to him as I got that bite that's nah, it's gone nab me bait and gone quickly bait that up quickly with a new rag and just put it back out in that same spot see if we can get get that bite back it might have been a flounder I don't know well we shall see well so still a bait change 20 minutes um nothing yet just weed big fat load of weed it's quite hard I might have to go onto a grip lead um because I'm quite close said like the next really close to this structure here so I don't want it um I don't want it being dragged in over there, really, if I can help it. But um, yeah, keep an eye on it as, as the evening progresses. But um, yeah, I've just thrown a Wessex out now. Um, Wessex on um, four, four and a half ounce short cast, like that, but a yellow one. Um, so yeah, Ryan said he fell over. <laughs> he forgot his rag. For his hands not his worm um so yeah a bit of a silly silly thing to do isn't it when you when you're fishing lots of bait um so he'll be swimming tonight washing his hands all night i'm all right got my nice little setup so got my light up on the wall somewhere to put me back against got my um box so yeah in for a few hours so um let's hope we uh pull some out i know there's a few bass caught last time i don't really want bass but i'll take it rather than a blank but need a flounder but it's still what 15 degrees i'll take my jacket off it's not cold at all so i think um yeah just just one of them a lot, a lot of people saying we need a bit of cold a bit of a cold snap so um yeah but i'll see posted on on the group today there's a couple pulled out in the harbor um so um yeah they are here it's just whether you catch them or not but um yeah all right we'll be back hopefully with a fish or two but um for now i'll leave you with ryan see what he's doing hopefully he's um not hurt himself falling over idiot <laughs> right in a bit bye 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 nice bite on here this time hopefully this is the one yeah oh might be I'm in there. I don't think it's what we want. No. Right. We got schoolie again. Nice little schoolie bass. Oops. Turn that. Oops. Come here, mate. Bigger than last week's one though. Take that. There he is. Go on, mate. That way. There he goes. Well, that was fun. Went to change baits and um, snagged. On what? I have no idea. I was going to walk out, but I don't know how well. Uh, 
how deep it is. So I like to crack it off. Luckily, I bought what's going on. Luckily, I got my spare reel. So I'll put a leader on the other one in a minute, and then um, chuck it back out now on my other on the surf blaster too. Um, but yeah, that's basically the, the situation. That it's just weed, 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 just weed at the minute. But Ryan just had a school bass out, I think. Um, so yeah, just keep going. It's hard with this light. Um, yeah, just keep going. But yeah, I don't know what I got stuck on. I said nowhere near that pier. Um, off this like funny slipway here. So yeah, at least I brought my spare. But yeah, always take spare stuff. But yeah, we'll keep going and see what happens. But yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Just heard someone's had a flounder further up. Don't know who, but we'll find out in a minute, I think. Definitely something just there. I mean, you can just see the bite, hopefully. Very small bite, it could just be another schooly bass. Just gonna hopefully let it progress. Could just be something nibbling away. Nice three pound flounder. <laughs> Come on. There's definitely something there. Right on the tide line, nearly. So, I think high was at 11 or quarter to 11 tonight. It's uh, ah, see the bite now, definitely see it now, but I don't think it's what I want again. Come on, I'll see. We'll have a go, we'll pull it in. Let's see what we got this time. I'm gonna have a go and just chuck it in this area over here, not far out. Um, because I'm the M peg, there's no one next to me. Have we got anything? Oh, what's that on the end? Tiniest of something. That's why it was such a small bite. What have we got? Oh, I think that's a oh that's another schooly bass. Tiniest of little schoolies that just lip hooked. They're quite cool in miniature form though. <laughs> That's two, same as last week. Oh, off you go, mate. Don't know where he went. He's gone off though. Right, the next one then. <sighs> well, at least we've saved the blank. Um, not much else to report though. All right, let's get this changed out. All right. Yeah, so we're going to sling it over there. See how we get on. Not massively over there, just to sort of uh, not be straight. So let's see. And again, I'm not going massively far out, so because I've got a lot of room to cast anyway now. Hey. I said I was going to go over there. I didn't. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Trap set again. Let's hope there's something better than a schoolie. Wow, I'm like a big bass. I'll take that. Oh, look at that. Is that a bite? Keep you on for a second. Wow, um, I wonder how Nate's getting on. Hopefully better than me. <laughs> In a bit. Well, it's the end of that. Three whole hours of drowning a pound of rag. Three hours of drowning worm. Um, so, obviously we didn't do very well today. Um, I think I haven't heard any any more from anybody else but it was just that one um one flounder caught apparently tonight but i'm sure there's probably others that i've not not heard about um 
so yeah a bit just the way it is it's a bit annoying you know you, you, you know, it's a bit annoying it is annoying you want to be out catching didn't you but what can you do there's nothing you can do about it you just gotta hope for the best on the next one and see see what happens i suppose um i hadn't heard from ryan for an hour or so so i don't even know how well we got on in the end um apart from that bass he may have he may be weighing in now um no one this end i don't think has caught i don't think i've heard anybody anybody pull put a flounder in down at ham park um so yeah it's a bit disheartening but that's fishing sometimes it goes well sometimes it doesn't um i'm sure we'll catch one I'm gonna make it my uh, my mission during the during this league. Obviously, me and Ryan are working together as well um, in the pairs, so it, it's it'd be good if we can produce. Um, but again, everybody knows that's fishing. We had the rigs right. Obviously, they were they were coming back. Well, they were coming back fine. I did have a crab on one, um, but it was I had a bit of squid tipped on it, so. I'm guessing it was a it was it was a squid that attracted the crabs. Um, all the others are just ran rag. So um, yeah, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do. I'm me out on all night. Itchy head. Um, there's nothing we can do. So next time we'll be at Evening Hill. So that's down Sandbanks. Um, on the way to Sandbanks, just down through there. Um, so we might produce down there. We might. Oh, it's a bit of an awkward spot tonight, although apparently it's it was meant to be a nice a nice spot, had a bit of a feature. Um I did get snagged um once, but wasn't on that. I don't know what it was, it must have been a rock or something just, just out there. Um so yeah, changed it up by dropping them in and I was going a bit further out and just trying everything I can. Um cycling rigs, fruit flapper, then onto Taft's um Free a wishbone dropper, I'll use that, and that was fine. If everything's working, um, just no fish. Um, obviously, we can't do anything about that. If the fish aren't there, they're not going to come, are they? So you know, you're not going to not going to catch. So um, yeah, we'll stick with it. Obviously, we've paid we've paid to fish, so we've got to do it. Um, whether we catch one, who knows? <laughs> At this rate, it's interesting, but. I'm sure it will, we'll, we'll be able to pull something out. Um, Ryan will add his little bit in. I don't know whether he's caught anything else or yet to hear from him. Um, hopefully, he may have. Um, he may have even won a match tonight. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, next time, Evening Hill, along towards Sandbanks there. We fished there a few times in the past. Um, dig a lot of bait there. So, there's a lot of worm around that area. Loads of rag, loads of lugworm floating about around there. So, um, so yeah that's where we'll be um in the meantime potentially we'll get out at some point um i'm not sure what ryan's up to i know he's he's busy he's got a new job coming up so he's he's you know getting his head down and doing some bits and bobs for that um but yeah <sighs> everyone knows it's fun fishing it is fun when you don't catch it's not so fun but we'll stick with it. Um, but yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with a new one at some point. Um, again, like and subscribe. Check us out on um, on the Facebook and the Instagram. We're trying to put a bit more on there um, as and when. Um, but yeah, we'll um, we'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. So just to round up to the second round of the Wessex Angling Flounder League. Um, four fish were caught by four different people. Um, the first place was a one pound three and a quarter ounce uh, fish by Jack. So he takes the prize pot for heaviest uh, as well as first. Um, and then you've got uh, Chris, Martin and Tony um, taking up the, uh, the other spots. So, so well done to them. Hopefully there's more out at the next round at uh, Evening Hill. Uh, and see you next week. Thank you very much for watching.